Hey guys, it's Anthony here, or NEAE, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on a sky replacement, such as in uh, Blood Brothers, a dual episode with Aoki AE. Shout out to my man. Wow, that was kind of gay, whatever. Okay, this is what it's going to look like. So basically just this uh, background, like how it's a different background. Um, so first thing you want to do, um, well first thing you have to have a good cinematic, a cinematic with the sky in the background, and the sky should be one color, just all one color, just like, um, like in this one. Like in the cinematic. Um, Alright, hold on, let me delete this stuff. Alright, so here's the cinematic that I used. It's just a simple cinematic, you know. Um, see how the sky is all one color, like I've had? Okay. So, first thing you want to do is type in color key and put that on there. And just use the pin tool, get that out of there. I'd recommend doing it twice before you play around with the settings. Just get the oh, okay, that didn't really help. You just gotta try it out a little bit. Alright, right, now you can just go like just make sure you're not cutting off any like part of the building or anything. You can also put some feather on it so it's not as rough on the edges I'd say like three but in, in this one uh, in my episode it was kind of like glowy around the edges so you have to have like a lot of feather there you go now you, it doesn't really matter right now it doesn't have to be perfect so now what you need is a picture so you can just go into Google and get yourself a picture of a in the background, it could be anything like the sky, outer space, sunset. By the way, thank you for 200 subs. Yeah. So once you have your picture, um, where's my picture? Oh. So once you have your picture, all right. I found my picture. This, in this case, it's an outer space picture. So, um. You can move the picture around, put it however you want. Maybe zoom it out a little bit because that looks a little close. You know, like so. Alright, good. Now what you want to do is find a good point on the trees or anywhere that just somewhere that's like in a far distance like this or something. Find a motion track point that you can follow. So you want to make sure that the cursor is black before you move it around. So maybe right here. And you also want to do rotation. If you if you click move around a little bit. Oops. So maybe someone on the palm tree. And then you're just gonna test it out. See how that works. This might be a little weird cause since this, this part is way further back than this. But it's just for the tutorial. You can do it better. Alright, so that's pretty good. Now what you want to do is right click, new null object. And you want to just edit your target. Right down there. Change it to null. The null that you just added. Press OK. And then apply. Alright, now what you want to do is take this little squiggly thing, you, you click on it and then this wire or whatever thing comes out, and you want to put pin that onto no onto your no. So now, as you see, when you move along the sky moves with it. Um so 
that's pretty much it. Uh, you just had some say color correction, and apparently you just want to zoom it in a little bit so you can see the scale or anything. Or the scale, whatever this is. Um, yeah, and I had my name right here. If you want to put it at the beginning, you can whatever your episode name is on top of the stand or something. Motion track that. So, um, well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, write comments on what what um, tutorial I should do next. So, yeah, this is my first tutorial, so sorry if it's like. Uh, thanks. Bye.